Hi everyone, Thomas Hyman here coming to you from my home office for today's episode of the Real Estate Success 2020 series. And uh, what I want to talk about is cash flow and cash management, which is super critical at this day and age especially. And uh, this really applies to any kind of business. So even if you're not a real estate professional, this will be of value to you. Uh, right now, of course, we're finding ourselves in a period of incredibly um, uncertain economic times. And uh, so now today, more than ever, it's critical to have an idea of what your cash is doing. Uh, cash is your business's oxygen. And so the tool that I want to share with you today to really manage your cash flow and understand what's coming towards you, you know, a few weeks or a few months down the line is a 13 week cash flow forecast. So you want to have a cash flow forecast where you forecast on a weekly basis for the next 13 weeks what your income and outflow is going to be. And, uh, and then you want to compare that to the current week. So in order to understand this better, I'm just going to share the spreadsheet with you and I will provide a download link so you can download this Excel spreadsheet and then just customize it for yourself. And uh, I hope you uh, go ahead and utilize that. So let me share my screen here real quick. So I created this uh, 13 week cash flow forecast here and you can see a couple of uh, columns and I just um, took the framework of what I'm actually using myself and um, you can make it your, your, your own. So here we have the periods, the weeks. So from five, four through 510, 511 through 517, and, uh, and, and so forth, week one through all the way through 13. And then here we have the actual column. So you would want to start obviously by putting in what are your expectations. And again, you can change these columns for whatever business you have. These are just sources of cash and outflow or expenses. So we have revenue obviously, and we're talking about cash now, not accrual. Um, if you're dealing with accounts uh, receivables, you may want to put in here a column for accounts receivables to record the cash. Uh, and then also we have loans and investing activity. So if you're going to get cash from a loan, from a financing activity, from an investor, you would want to put it in here. And so you have your beginning cash. And these two things here are going to uh, match up. And, um, and then going down here, adding what comes in will give you total cash available. And then you have your outflow, including debt service and payments, <clears throat> total cash used and your ending cash. And so you want to start with your forecast for this week, or if you want to start with next week, next week, the week thereafter, the week thereafter, the week thereafter. And then during the current week, you want to record your actual. So you can do that on a daily basis or every other day just looking at your cash accounts, your bank account, what's really happening? What are you really depositing and what's really flowing out? And then at the end of the week, you can compare the two and say, okay, this is what I thought it would be and this is what it is today in reality. Now at the end of the first week, what you wanna do is go back here where you have week 13 and just go ahead and copy this entire column, paste it here, and then I would go ahead and uh, highlight one through 13, copy that and paste it here. And then go ahead and just delete this column here. So now in the calculations here um, on the first line, because these are calculated fields, you would just enter your new cash. So let's say the beginning cash um, on that week is going to be 75,000. And you just manually enter it in there and then obviously 75,000 here. You would clear out anything that you had in here. So you start the week off with a clean column again for the current week. And now you have week one, two, three, 14, obviously update the dates here because it's no longer accurate. And, um, and that's how you work it. So using this tool, will allow you to look down into the future. You know, what's gonna to happen to your cash flow four weeks from now, eight weeks from now, 
12 weeks from now. And you want to be able to react early to any changes. So most people <clears throat> live a little bit in denial and they think that, you know, I got money in the bank right now and everything is fine and everything is going to work out. And, uh, and then all of a sudden it's too late. They get to the point where they're out of cash and uh, cash is your business's oxygen. So you absolutely have to do whatever it takes to ensure that you're not going to run out of cash. And by being able to keep your eyes on what's really going to happen two, three months down the road, you could start making decisions early and start, you know, what else can we cut? What other fat can we trim? And, uh, you know, as things turn around, even if we had, you know, booming, fantastic growth time, likewise, you can use this cash flow forecast to give you an idea, okay, you know what, we're going to have lots of cash on hand. Maybe I can start to execute on some marketing campaigns. Maybe I can start to make some investments uh, based on that forecast. Uh, at some point, you may decide to create a cash flow forecast that's biweekly or monthly. But right now, today, I highly recommend you do a weekly cash flow forecast. So now what if you're an, you know, just an individual real estate agent? Do I need to do this? Absolutely. If you're a self-employed person, what I would incorporate into this cash flow forecast is your personal expenses. So what's your outflow for utilities? for rent, for car payment, for insurance, for gasoline, for dry cleaning, for you know, business expenses that you may have. And then again, what's your income? You know, what do you have coming in from you know, real estate commissions, a side gig, some other income that you may have, uh, maybe you have some investments, maybe you or your spouse have a job where you get a salary. So you want to maintain that cash flow forecast even on a personal level again, to see what is coming down the pike so you can start to take action early. The last thing you want to do is wait until all of a sudden the drought is upon you and then you have no choice uh, to react. And that's where unfortunately 95% of all people find themselves. So I hope you find this valuable. Again, I'm going to put the link to download this Excel spreadsheet into the comment section. If you see this on YouTube, please subscribe. Hit the little uh, alarm bell so you get notified when I post a new video. If this is on Facebook, please uh, you know, follow me. Please like the page. And I would love to hear your comments. If you have any thoughts, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, anything that works for you, please you know, post in the comments and I will personally reply. And thank you so much again for taking the time to watch this. I'm Thomas Hyman. And until next time.